We are awaiting one more beneficiary, and then we may see to the administration of the Marcy Bradford estate, which is evenly split between you. All your old girlfriends leave you 50% of their worldly goods? So far. <laughs> OK. I met her during the summer after my freshman year in college. We were in Key West. It was just me and her and... Did you say one more beneficiary? Excuse me. Is this the room where they're reading the will for Marcy Bradford? <laughs> 13 years later, you still wear high karate? <laughs> Wasn't bad enough I had to share it with you when she was alive, huh? Uh, Your Honor, I have several more appointments today. <laughs> hey, I'm sure you do. Look at you. Hey, without me around, looks like you've become just another suit, huh? You want to pin a label on me, you can start with Coffee Achiever. <laughs> I'm not just another anything. I happen to have my life exactly the way I want it. Just your girlfriend? I have no idea. Michael, aren't you going to introduce me? Nope. You don't want to meet him. He wears sweaty T-shirts, he eats meat, he's an animal. Look at him. <laughs> Guess I've been going at this girl all wrong. <laughs> Joey Harris, the man Michael wants to be when he grows up. Well, whoever Marcy was, she seems to have mattered very much to both of you. That was a lifetime ago, and I myself have no feelings about her anymore. Hey, neither do I. Fine. May we get started, please? <laughs> I'm Marcy Bradford. Marcy Bradford loved me. Don't come in here after 13 years and start twisting around something that was very important to me. She died. This was the first woman I ever cared about. Hey, this is the last woman I ever cared about. <laughs> Seems she cared for both of you about the same. <laughs> Although, who am I to judge? Whatever Marcy left us, let's appraise it, sell it, split it, goodbye. Agreed? Absolutely. I get no reason to live with the past any longer than I have to. I got a reason. Luggage? Well, please let it be that she left us luggage. I'm sure you're both wondering who this is? No. Uh -huh. This is Nicole Bradford. Congratulations. It's a girl. She would have to be 12. She don't look 12. She looks 11. She looks 13. Tell these nice gentlemen how old you are, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. And you know, I really could have used that luggage. <laughs> the court is in possession of your medical records. The father is biologically indeterminate. Well, that's you. <laughs> your Honor. What are the consent alternatives as stipulated in the will? Well, excuse me, Perry Mason. <laughs> there are certain responsibilities that come with fatherhood that I, I don't know if I'm ready for. There's also a little thing called love that goes along with it. Oh, that's right. Make me the bad guy for being practical. We're talking about a child here, huh? <laughs> a little child. Now, if you don't want her, I'll take her, OK? I'll take Nicole. I'll take Nicole. Wait, want some fries with that? <laughs> Joe, you're not ordering a McDaughter. <laughs> this, this is a little female human. She needs two parents and a proper bringing up. Exactly as is the intent of this will. <laughs> Unless you two gentlemen can demonstrate family harmony, and if today's behavior is indicative, I have my doubts. And Nicole becomes a ward of the state and will be remanded to the county adoption home. Is, is that some nice modern facility? You've read Dickens. 